Geronimo! MJ, I'm at the fifth location. Either there's a weird cosplay thing going on, or it's the demons. Could be both. They need social lives, too. Well, let's see if I can make some new friends. Or enemies. Sweet dreams. where the demons get all their vehicles. Trucks, ambulances. Exactly. You shut this down, they'll have a tougher time moving around the city unnoticed. I would hate to see the group text that got you all here.
MJ, I may have just done the opposite of repair at this repair shop. Don't worry, I'll get the cops down there. They'll clean things up. That's all the places I could link to Martin Lee. We just made life a lot harder for the demons. And easier for the DA to build a case against him. Thanks, MJ. I owe you dinner. Ooh, nice. What price range are we talking about? Any place you want. That has a dollar menu. <laughs> Still beats that time you tried to make dumplings. I can't abide. It's egomaniacs who use the internet solely to draw attention to themselves. And we just had a real meeting of the minds in that respect, as the online personality, Screwball, pranked fellow narcissist Spider-Man into an epic snipe hunt that put innocent people in danger. On the one hand, Screwball did show us all just how gullible and reckless Spider-Man is, rushing headlong into dangerous situations without knowing or caring who he'll hurt as long as cameras are on him. On the other hand, Screwball herself is no better. Unlike me, she's not trying to expose wrongdoers like Spider-Man as a public service. She's just in it to promote herself, which I think is absolutely despicable. They don't go away. Just the facts with J. Jonah Jameson will be right back after this important message about how you can buy my book. Peter. So if you're running this place while Mr. Lee's out of town, who's doing your old job? Uh, me. But I could always use more help. You know anyone? Actually, I do. His name is Miles Morales. Why does that sound familiar? His father was being honored at City Hall. Oh. I talked to him at the funeral. He's a smart kid. He's just having a tough time. I knew a boy like that once. I remember it helped to uh, stay busy. Might help him too. Here's his mom's number. Thanks. I'll give her a call. Hey, you haven't heard from Mr. Lee, have you? No, why? I'm just curious. I've got a few minutes before work. I'm gonna look around, see if there's anything else I can do to help you out. Oh, you, you don't have to. I know, I want to. I should check out Lee's office. Need help with those veggies? I learned a long time ago, you're more help staying out of the kitchen than in it.
Peter, take it from me. You need to see someone if you start having PTSD symptoms. Any news about Mr. Lee, Pete? You hear anything? Is this the no. same game or a different one? They blur together. I get tired of winning. You mean tired of me winning? Hey, Eileen, May said your daughter reached out. Yeah, she was worried I died in the blast and wants to reconnect. I don't know. It never worked out before. You gotta take these things slow. Rebuild the trust. It'll work, I know it. It'd be nice if something good came from this. I knew a man who panhandled around City Hall. I heard the deputy mayor was brainwashed. I never used to feel safe at the other shelter. But this one, I have never had. They said you were at the bombing. I was praying for you. Thanks. I appreciate it. You want me to call Mrs. Morales first? I'll be fine. I suspect she'll be relieved to talk to someone who's been there. Hey. For the bombing. You okay? I'm just a little banged up. How are you doing? Not bad. Your aunt's been helping me with my interview skills. I don't know. I'm not sure I'm cut out for the nine to five. I know I've had my share of career hurdles, but you never know until you try. Give it a shot. Today's gonna be a good day. I'm just saying it's weird. The bombing happens and Mr. Lee disappears. Peter, you're okay. Oh, I'm so relieved. May was really worried. Can't leave without checking out Lee's office. I don't feel safe in... People don't realize how many kids are homeless. One in 30. And too many shelters aren't equipped to care for them.
This office is locked. How do I get in there? Quietly. I don't feel safe anymore. Huh. Never seen that room before. Lines. What needs this much power? There. I understand, but the account number is in Mr. Lee's office, which is inaccessible. I will call you back as soon as I can get that information. No, I don't know when that will be. saw from the crawl space. It should be right on the other side of the shrine. Huh. The shrine in the photo is missing the picture. Looks like this note is for May. journal. A key. wonder where the lock is. Lee did so much. Lee sounds conflicted. Almost like he didn't want to head down this path. This is the ghost story Lee's father read to him. About a demon that could only be mastered through balance. Hmm. Some kind of puzzle lock. That seems right. I see.
What are you hiding, Lee? Lee's giving us power. Lee sure is obsessed with masks. Is it a Jungian thing? Like, he needed to pretend to be someone else to let his darkest feelings out? How does Lee imbue these with his power? Bioelectric induction? Compressed phase shift? This is all about Norman Osborn. His whole career. Lee must have been obsessed with him. Oscorp lost a lawsuit about improper clinical trials years ago. Did they cover this up? I've never heard of it. Can feel my power growing, feeding off my anger. Father would say I've lost the path of balance that he could never understand. The only way to fight a monster is to become one. Creepy. I wonder what it means. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Phew. It's a burn room, wired to destroy evidence. Need to overload those junction boxes. One more. The police had found this. Or May. Tell me to think of what could have happened. Now, how do I get out of here? Hello, Peter. Mr. Lee. I thought you were out of town. Did you find what you were looking for? Martin, you're back. I get that. Thank you. And heading off again shortly, I'm afraid. Just needed a few things from my office. You must have heard about City Hall. Yes. Tragic. Peter was there. He was very lucky. And an Osborne rally. I didn't know you were a fan. Well, what matters is, you are both safe. Amen. But the bombers are still out there. Who knows what they've planned next? Oh, I don't think you or May have anything to worry about. As long as you stay away from places you're not supposed to be. Well, I should go. When will you be back? When my work is done.
Captain Watanabe. I finally got your evidence. Head to the Feast Center in Chinatown. What am I going to find? A nice lady named Mae Parker. And some really weird stuff hidden in Lee's office. But listen, he's got another attack planned. Where? When? Still working on that, but I think he's going to use something called Devil's Breath. Sounds destructive. What is it? A substance created by Oscorp. Probably a bioweapon of some kind. I have a folder full of info on it. I'm holding on to it for now. I'll send copies as soon as I can. Okay, we'll check his office. If the evidence stands up, I'll put out an APB. MJ, hey. Just checking in. Peter, hey. Can I call you back? I think you'll want to hear this. Wait, why are you whispering? Just in the middle of something. How about we catch up over dinner? My place? Oh, sure. I'll even cook. Cool. See ya. Wait. Remember how you told me about Lee's corrupting touch? I think I just saw it in action. How? Some perfectly nice homeless people just jumped me. Thing is, they had glowing eyes. And I remembered Yuri telling me something similar about the guard who released Shocker. So Shocker was working for Lee? Uh, it's all connected. There's more. But I guess we'll talk about it at dinner. Yeah. See ya. Dinner? Huh. What should I cook? Oh, hi, Doctor. How are you? Parker! Exciting news! Come by the lab! Uh, like, now? This is my defining moment. Can't wait to show you. Cool! Um, I've got dinner plans. Can I come by later? Dinner can wait. You need to see this, Peter. Uh, okay. Be right there. Wonder if this means I have a job again. Guess I can stop by. Just for a minute. I used to think you were exaggerating the danger to the city, but after the city hall bombing, I gotta admit, you were right. A lot of people have been telling me that, congratulating me, but I don't want congratulations. I would have loved to have been wrong, or better yet, for those in a position of power to have listened to me and done something. But they didn't, and I'm not sure they'll listen now. Unless concerned citizens like you and I make ourselves impossible to ignore. Stand up! Take your city back! That's the only way we can ever be sure that justice will be done. That, and listening to me every day! <laughs> 